Hi, we're Darren and Perry. Welcome to our spontaneous adventures. We are full-time traveling nomads from Seattle and Chicago, but we also have a home base that's off-grid. Join us as we travel around the country, hanging with family, friends, and loved ones, and touring small towns and tourist sites. Grace and peace to you. She goes. Fifty, our home for the past year. We are taking her on to another lovely family that has purchased her from us. She has been so good. Loved her. of a chapter we just dropped Fifi off our beloved home in fifth wheel um to a great family though all praises um excited for the the next family that gets to uh utilize her um we are out here in ashland city tennessee and luckily we have a nice a new newer not newer new to us um, fifth wheel that we have waiting for us back at, at the homestead. You see, this is the Cumberland River. Beautiful town, Ashland City. Um, very cute little town. A really good Mexican spot with some bomb burritos if y'all are ever out here. Um, so just nice, peaceful. Tennessee has a lot of great, great little cities and towns to check out and um, beautiful scenery. We are about to head down into Nashville, actually. We're only about 40 miles um, north of Nashville and uh, have to check on um, some other stuff and gonna spend the night here and in, in, in Nashville before we head on back get a little a little nice little getaway <music> So much room for activities. <laughs> Yay. 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 All right, family. So there has been a couple days in between this video because we had to sell our other fifth wheel and transport it. So uh, we just got back from Nashville. Um, it was a long ride, it was a 24-hour trip, but we got a lot done. We also sold our minivan that you guys didn't know broke down <laughs> last week or two um, in Nashville. But that's a whole nother story. Anyway, Darren's doing the backsplash, and we're going to try to tackle this floor today. Uh, we laid some planks down. Everything is looking pretty good, but we want to go back and um, glue them down. Some of the planks were fitting in, but maybe we weren't doing them right. We'll see how that goes. Um, and we're gonna do some carpet over uh, the slide out. So yeah, a lot going on, putting up some cabinets right now. Just got a couple more up while we're cooking some lunch. So uh, just all over the place. The to-do list is still huge and we're working on uh, a couple other things. So yeah, everything's coming along though. We'll show you guys here in the next couple of days. Hopefully we can get uh, a little bit further now that we're not running around uh, doing all these uh, other activities. So, all praises to the Father. All right, here we are, day 10, 11, 12 on the remodel. And we are now getting to the smaller things like finishing up the backsplash. Darren uh, did a magnificent job on that. We have to order another pack uh, to finish this side on the right. We uh, spray painted the hardware uh, gold. So she got the paper towel holder up. We're getting uh, another towel rack uh, put up. I'm about to put up some lights. Uh, we got that light spray painted gold to go with the hardware. And she's putting up Nasia's bed frame right now 
to be able to go in the bunk so now see it can't get out like we had in the other rv that you probably saw already in the tour carpet put on the slide out we got our lithium ion battleborn um battery in both jackeries are charging right now you can see that but then so darren finally put the uh pack and play slash crib together um in the bunk room for the baby and um our other fifth wheel we had to come up with a different contraption it was kind of the same style but instead of dropping back it dropped down um probably have a photo in there of that but with this one um it's a little bit too short and she's getting taller so we're going to monitor to see if she can climb over yet because she is a daring young child and she's willing to climb up on anything so we will see but we have this in the middle um with a little space on each end and she was able to climb through in and out so we don't want to have any issues tonight so we scooted it all the way down and we're going to do the same thing we did with the other rv is put a piece of plywood right there and nail it into the wall paint it white so it goes along with everything you won't even notice it so good job darren i'm outside cutting the plywood and painting it um but i do like this color of, of this one so if you are a full-time family or a family that camps and have toddlers and you need a setup like this, uh, this is pretty easy. Um, look up. Where'd you get it from, babe? Amazon? Amazon. And, and I just looked for different She looked for different ones because it's pretty hard because yeah, some beds are different lengths and different yeah, widths. So heights. heights and then, you know, sometimes you can put it up top, um, but, you know, it may hit the ceiling. So whatever it works um right now she's installing the contact this paper this is my first time so it's her first time Don't but judge. it, it <laughs> looks beautiful this is the original color and then now you have a marble contact paper once again we wanted to do this on our other fifth wheel but just either didn't have time or she didn't believe in it but um <laughs> i think she believes in it now and it's looking super nice and we like i said we also got our backsplash being put out with uh, the stickers as well. So this, these things are great for RVs uh, to do some real quick. She's going to contact paper this area as well next. So yeah, coming along, coming right along. Long process, but it's coming along. That bad boy is next. Greetings family. So here we are um, a few weeks into, not a few weeks, maybe a week and a half into our remodel we um are finishing up some flooring we had to order a hot water heater because um uh that one that we thought we were trying to fix with the anno rods and the heating rods um had a leak in it so we ordered a on-demand water heater which we will be showing you guys um how we uh, put that together but um, right now we are taking out our agm battery and putting in our lithium battery that we ordered but by the way here is our on-demand water heater we got a little research to do real quick to make sure we're doing that right we're going to try to get that done today so we can have hot water um but for now this lithium battery which shouldn't be too hard we've connected and disconnected batteries uh, other than that we'll be finishing up some flooring not finishing up some flooring but <laughs> doing some flooring today because that is a process we just ran out of two tubes of glue after we came back from town, which is about 10 to 15 minutes away to our nearest hardware store, which is a small town hardware store. We just passed up Lowe's as we went to Walmart today, but there's a lot going on. So anyway, I'm um, doing some flooring. Darren is constantly getting some decor and stuff like that. Uh, waiting to get our couch and our table um, in so we can get you guys some after photos because the before photos were crazy, but wait till you guys see it later on. But uh, maybe another week or so, um, which will be added to this video. So all of this, once again, the midst of the rehab, um, which you guys haven't seen it yet. So you've seen the completed inside wall, but you haven't seen the outside wall. So this was part of kind of the devaluation of the RV. Uh, the RV uh, is worth about 14 grand, but we got it for a few grand because it's missing the rear wall. So we already took care of the inside and, you know, we still got to wash this side of the RV, which you'll see later on. Weather's been like just up and down. You don't know if you're getting snow, rain, sleet, wind, tornado, who knows out here in Tennessee. But anyway, next on our project, as I said, we're working on the flooring on the inside and decor right now. Um, also some touch up paint here soon, but our ta we are tasked with fixing 
or replacing this water heater. So we chose to replace it because fixing it wasn't an option. As you can see, it's very old and rusted. So, you know, why waste time on something old and beat up that may not, you know, work correctly when you can just invest in something new with a little hard work and labor. I'm gonna be taking out all of these screws, pulling this out behind here, which was different than another RV is the water tank, um, which is inside where you do most of the work on this particular, uh, it's called Atwood uh, water heater. So uh, Darren did a lot of research on these water heaters and things like that. So we'll be putting in this on-demand water heater and you guys are gonna to get to see us do it. Right, so we moved in from the battery and since we have a delay on the water heater um, we took off the door and figured out that we have to order a separate door for the on-demand water heater which will be here on friday so to be continued on that project uh, we got the lithium battery in today got some flooring started as i said and then now we are making a uh, shiplap uh, accent wall out of wallpaper with the back wall that we put up. You've seen the outside of the wall where, it's, where it was missing. So behind this white wall, we had the frame and everything. So we put up the wall. Now we're doing a shiplap accent. By no means any kind of professional. This is a rough and tumble. <laughs> we're making it happen. We're making it do what it do. Um, everything has a foundation, even information and how to do things. So plywood on the inside wall plywood on the outside wall we're going to get some fiberglass um, laminate covering to go over it attempt to put the back lights the rear lights on and get a license plate back there so that'll be to be continued as well um it's not many videos out there on youtube because professionals do it in professional shops but hey professionals have to start somewhere and we will be starting so anyway our room is coming together i got these little little holders up we're getting our window treatments here soon we were just talking about candle holders got some photos up over here uh, rug that we got from our other smaller rv and uh we're making it happen it's coming along so we'll be finishing up and we won't get this all done today so we got to go back on amazon and get another uh two rolls but maybe we can use the excess on another wall maybe even behind our bed huh yeah we'll see all praises This, put your piece in. Put your piece in. Yeah. <laughs> Here is a bit of uh, some flooring that I am finishing up. So I learned yesterday, Darren told me that I was doing it wrong when I'm hitting these corners. So I have to get a slat to go from here to here and then wrap around that little edge right here. So I just measured out kind of where my cut is going to be uh, up here and then around here so that piece can go all the way down and then hug around. So uh, I'll be cutting this off right here so the remainder can hug around the corner and then the other edge can go right into that edge. So there you go, praises. Now, now, you helping build the shelf? With the drill, with the drill battery. With the damn battery drill. We're building this shelf. So this shelf is gonna go in this corner um, right here. We just got some flooring done, which I'm gonna back out and um, I may even talk about on this video. But anyway, got this shelf to go right there to give us some extra storage since we lost out on a lot of storage from our other RV. And it's drilling it in with a dead battery. We will go back and polish that up a little bit later. And the wallpaper she did today, which just looks fantastic. So um, she also did the contact paper on there. So uh, a lot of work being done. We are so busy. We haven't had time to really record a lot, but you know we'll do a big old tour at the end, painted those goals, and we're gonna do a, a accent wall on the back of here. So just work after work after work after work but we're only about two or three weeks in so hey give us time all praise